that linebacker, you've had some of the guys out in this camp? Yeah, I mean, that, 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 it happens, unfortunately. You know, it, it can happen and spread you across the defense or across, across you know, any position groups, and then sometimes it's consolidated to just one. So, so, so a couple experienced guys were out. That doesn't make it okay. Uh, but obviously it gets some, some, uh, some good work to the other guys, and it also makes you start thinking about, okay, if we play the game, and, Say three of your top four linebacks are a couple couple of situations we found ourselves in a year ago, in fact. And so moving some checkers around. And so um, obviously you want those guys to get to work, but it also provides some opportunities uh, you know, when it's not game week. Is Shane and Eric on track for week one? I believe so. What have you seen as far as Zion Branch? Obviously, yeah. you know, had a really tough year last yeah. year. And as far as his, his stick to his progression, you know. Yeah, I mean, he's been, from a, a, a personal standpoint, from a work ethic standpoint, I mean, he, he's, if, quote me, as a good dude. I mean, like, he, he's, he checks every box. And it's one of those things where you just haven't had a chance to really coach him on the field. We got to a little bit in the spring. Um, but he was not contact. And there's a big part of football that's the contact piece. And so um, now, obviously, we're very fortunate he was able to get some reps in spring, seven months and some of that stuff. But the, the thuds and all that stuff he wasn't available for. So um, anyway, it was uh, a, a, a good progression over summer. His, his body's right. Um, and then it was interesting to see what the, the fall camp was going to hold for him. He has made as much progress in 14 days as anybody I've ever done. I mean, it's, it's been uh, real exciting to see. The credit completely goes to him. Um, and, and, and a guy that uh, works excited about moving forward. So, I mean, I think he'll have a role with us. With the defense lined up this year, do you feel like you kind of have to try, like, like there's a need to try as much stuff scheme wise when you have more depth like you do this year? Yeah, I, I think, you know, some sometimes you're, um, I guess, you're always trying to find what the advantage is for you, right? And, and sometimes you have more than, than, than others. And sometimes it's a specific personnel, specific guy. You know, think about the Thule a year ago. What, God dang, what can we do with him? Um, and then other, other years you feel like we got. Maybe the, the the best thing we got is you got four guys to do one man's job type of thing if you can get into rotation. And, and I'm, I'm not making a claim that, that, that we're exactly there, but on the same token is there's several names that um, you, you kind of talk about each day and the names kind of change and you see some body types, some guys that play for us and some new guys that add into the mix, which adds a layer of competition to it. So I envision us playing a lot of guys on the defensive front and, and expect you know each week to kind of be a battle in terms of who gets the most reps and stuff. But uh, I think big picture-wise in terms of doing more things or doing different things. Um, I just collectively for the guys, one of the things we, we give a lot of credit to them. I think, I, I don't know if we talked about this in the spring, but these guys have let us coach them, you know, a lot less managing, you know, effort and managing, you know, and, and spring ball, number one meeting the, on practice 14 of fall camp. I mean, really being able to, to, to get in some, some situational stuff that, um, and so that's at every position. And so that, if I had to circle one real positive, and then there's been several, but um, one real positive, of course, of fall camp is, is we've been able to, th this is a group that allowed us to coach them, um, which has been good. So, if, you, if you had to go into a game, what's the one aspect of your defense you're the most confident in at this point? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, you like to say everything, but obviously we haven't played a game yet. You know, I mean, we, we, you know, the nice thing for us is we get challenged on a day in and day out basis. So if you said we're going to play good quarterback play this year, which we will, we see a good quarterback every single day. Talking about, you know, spread multiple offenses. We see one every single day. So I, I think, in, 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 you know, you got to go do it on Saturdays. What you've done doesn't matter. But then the same token is in terms of getting an evaluation as to where you're at, uh, we've always been pretty good at having an understanding of kind of kind of what those pieces are. And so, you know, I, I think just a, a more consistent group. I mean, I, I've just, I, I've seen that. Now, again, you're, your two plays or two series or a quarter away from not being a consistent group, but um, you know, kind of, kind of having a better understanding on each individual call, each individual rep, and each individual position, what you're going to get on a given down, um, and then and, and a little bit less, you know, hope for execution type of thing. So, um, no, I, I give these guys credit from a consistency standpoint. Solomon seemed a bit overshadowed coming in the camp. What's he showing you in the last two weeks? Well, I tell you, he, he is, uh, you know, a guy that you know probably like like some some other guys I can mention. Uh, but you know the, the the rep counts, you know, add up. It's the cumulative impact of playing college football Saturday. And obviously, he played se several before he got with us. But he played on some major stages last year, and then you know got some results in a positive way. And then other Saturdays, you know, maybe he didn't. And so you know, both of those things are you know, matter to to progress of an individual player. Uh, unfortunately, he had you know off-season surgery, and so he missed so much time for us. And um, the, the good things you saw progress despite not getting some of those reps in spring. And, Kind of being on the on the shelf a little bit. Uh, uh, he's shown well. He's been productive for us, and, and some of those some of those those, those big time plays you saw a year ago have, have shown up. And, and again, another guy I would mention from a consistency standpoint has uh, has shown. It's been good.
Bear Adams is such an outstanding physical yeah. skill. So where have you seen him kind of fit in otherwise, just in general, in this scheme and kind of handle the change over this scheme? Yeah, no, I, th I think, uh, you know, for, for us, and, when, and he and I have talked, I mean, we, we kind of take the approach with our guys where we put a lot in early. Uh, you can, you know, there, there's two theories to it, right? You go slow, steady, and, and you, and you kind of, as you get closer to the game week, and, and um, I guess kind of spoon feed guys versus put it all in, you know, kind of whole part whole type of thing. And so we, we, we've always taken that approach. And so for a new guy coming in, there's a lot at him. And then, you know, missed a little time early, just getting banged up. Uh, uh, not, nothing too serious with this little time, which is, you know, that, that puts you a little bit behind just from an execution standpoint. But really excited about him. And you see the explosiveness, the strength, and all that stuff. I think he's obviously a, a, a big time addict. He's for us. And, and again, another guy we expect to have a big time in for us. Thank you.